Yo, grandchildren. My name is Old Max. Today we are starting a new journey in the world of Walheim. We have a lot of interesting adventures ahead of us, so let's start as soon as possible. To begin with, I will create my Viking, choose his hairstyle, beard and hair color and of course give him a name. Let's begin. And here I am flying on my own dragon, I would like to say so, but no. An overgrown crow grabbed me and probably carries me to its warm nest. Away from all problems. Get it together Max. You are a viking. I appeared completely incomprehensibly where, and I believe that this raven will become my only assistant and friend with whom I can talk. Of course, I have plans to collect a lot of resources, because only this will not let me die in this unknown and incomprehensible world. The only thing left for me is to collect stones, wood, some mushrooms and berries. Because otherwise I won't be able to survive. But I have not even got acquainted with the local flora and fauna. I hope these guys will be at least a little friendly to their new neighbor. All these guys depicted on stone monuments look dangerous, I think I should properly prepare before meeting them. It's time to move out and look for something interesting. And here is my first opponent, with whom there should be no problems. In order to develop and be able to protect myself, I will craft the simplest tools. In the future, I will have better weapons and tools. Now, I'll stick with what's available. I will not use mods that make it easier to survive, farm, make mobs easier, and so on. I will mine all this with my own hands, because the viking knows no weakness. You can find all the mods I use in the description under this video. Running through the forest I met a wild boar. And of course, he decided to silently get himself some meat. And received leather scraps as a gift. I immediately came across Deer, Odin is favorable to me today and does not hesitate to please me with such gifts. I hope I continue to have the same luck.
I ran all over the forest while trying to catch up with this guy. And finally I managed to catch him. This deer has one star, which is a very good sign for me, so catching it was my number one mission. I like this clearing, but I didn't like these two stumps. I'm going to make a small camp here where I can rest and eat before going on my next resource trip. For now, I'll do whatever it takes here. And in the future I will build my house here, where I can wait out the night. Thanks to the workbench I installed, I can craft a lot of useful things, weapons, and more. And now I have access to construction. Then I realized that I would need an insane amount of wood, so I plan to go and cut down half the forest. Otherwise, I will not be able to build and craft anything. Now I can use the workbench, create and repair my things. I am also going to put chests in order to be able to add up all the extracted resources. This timber wanted to be part of a pirate ship to be able to hide in the fog as well, but I use it to create my tools and home. Not today Mr. Timber. I was surprised at this moment and did not immediately understand why I had the inscription, Day 13, because I had just started my adventure. However, after shaking my brains, I realized that I had previously tested the installed mods, and this date was also applied in this world. I don't think it's a problem since I don't do speedrunning and it doesn't matter to me. So let's continue. This log hit me in the head. 
He probably did not like the fact that I was chopping his brothers and it decided to take revenge on me. But that crap doesn't work for me, because I'm a Viking, not an axe-wielding jerk. I know things are different now, but I know what I'm talking about. I am a Viking. This tree called for the help of a skeleton, I did not like it because it has one star. I think this guy is dangerous, given that I don't have good equipment. I make a mistake and die. Now I understand that this world is not at all as friendly and kind as it seemed before. From now on, I need to be more careful and not make mistakes, otherwise I can die very easily. I pick up my inventory, deal with enemies with ease and continue to get wood. After numerous hikes in the forest, I conclude that these trees are really dangerous, and they need to be wary of much more than skeletons and graylings. Having collected enough wood, I wanted to build a house and started from the foundation, but I changed my mind because it was very dark and I decided to go to extract no less important resources than wood. I was very lucky to find a whole flock of wild boars, this is a real gift for me.
I liked that the graylings and skeletons were at enmity, but the archer skeleton did not give me peace at all and I could easily die at any moment. Turns out the new location was so close, now it became clear to me why skeletons and graylings live nearby. Even though I discovered the black forest, I still hesitate to go explore it. I should definitely create a bow, and the sooner the better. I came up with a cunning plan, noticing the skeleton. Since they and the graylings are at odds, why should I fight both of them when they can kill each other? This battle turned out to be much easier than it could have been.
After collecting some resources, I decided to return to my base to rest and eat a little. And then start building your own house, the construction of which you can see in the next episode. Comment on the video and write your wishes about what you would like to see in the future. I say goodbye to you my friends. All the best and thank you for your support.